The number one thing that stops people from my observation is to compare themselves to others instead of compare their daily actions to their own highest priority. As long as you put people on pedestals and inject their values and try to live in their values, as long as you put people in pits and project your values and expect them to live in your values, you'll have futility. Because infatuation, resentments occupy space and time in your mind and keep you out of your soul. Ooh. And the moment you actually focus on what's truly your calling and your true mission and your true telos, as Aristotle called it, mm. and prioritize your day and fill your day with the highest priority actions that inspire you, that spontaneously are called to act, that make a difference, that deep, meep, deep meaning, that's the day when you don't have entropy interfering with a long-term mission. Immediate gratification costs you. Long-term mission pays. But that only occurs by living by the highest priorities. And that's the key. Neg entropy, a life physics, as Schrodinger said, is greater than entropy, death physics. And entropy takes over whenever we inject the values of others into our life and try to live by conformity instead of enormity. The moment we're too humble to admit what we see in the great around us, within us, is the day we cloud the clarity of our own mission and shrink instead of shine and play in mediocrity instead of greatness. Thank <laughs> you.